So what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Freedom Foods Farm and guess what? This is another really, really, really big day. Why? Because we're in the little nursery corral ha that we have here set up for winter time and we have a couple new tenants in here. You can see that's Yoli back, back there, right there. That's Yoli. We already had uh, those two, oh those three, Ellie, there's a little Rosemary and uh, Skywalker back there. And I come out here this morning into the other corrals and I see the cows, a lot of them up near the top of the, the paddock. I'm going, okay, that's a little bit weird. They're usually eating right around that time. Well, come to find out, we got a little surprise this morning. And here he is, Yoli's brand new little calf. It's a little bull calf. And he is all happy, he is all healthy, he's already sucked like crazy, and uh, he's doing really, really, really well. So this is the new little bull calf here that Mama, new mama here, has taken really good care of. We got him moved into this corral, which is a little bit difficult, but we've got it figured out. Huh, baby? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You did a good job. You did a very good job. So that's, that's the baby. That's the little baby. So that's two calves in a little over two weeks, and it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a break and then have uh, the next wave of mamas come in. Hopefully we'll be out of the corrals, hopefully we'll be off hay and we'll be on the move again, but we'll see. I'm not really good at guessing when these things are gonna be born. Have a sneaking suspicion, and it's funny. Um, Yoli got bred on the exact same day that Skywalker was born. How do I know that? Because it happened like five feet away from me. So, I've uh, seen that little guy from the very, very, very beginning. And you can see there's a little over nine month old uh, calf, like nine hours old there. And then, uh, Ellie, what are you doing? And there's a little over two weeks in Rosemary over there. And she's actually a lot, a lot bigger than him. Like, noticeably bigger. But they came in around the same birth weight. I just weighed him right now. 35.7 pounds. So Jordan did another really, really good job giving us a little tiny calf. And you can see, she is, she's turning into a little chunk over there. And she looked like him two weeks ago. Uh, was that you? Was that just you? Were we making a video just about you being born? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. And now, it's this guy's turn. And he's really sweet. I had to pick him up and move him over here because it's a little bit difficult how we uh, had to get into the section of the corrals. And he didn't fight me at all. He was just like, okay, we're going. So it's been all pretty smooth sailing. We had a little bit of a, I was a little bit worried this morning um, when I came out here because when he finally got up, because he was already laid down, he was already cleaned off. Um, when he got up to go suck, um, Yoli, you know, this is brand new for her. This is the first, you know, first calf heifer. She was uh, a little bit pushy with him, trying to um, move him away every time he went to suck. And uh, she, they, they figured it out. They figured it out within a couple hours. And uh, he got a whole, he just looked like he drank a gallon full. He had milk all running down his cheek and everything just a little bit ago. So they got it figured out. I was a little bit, a little bit worried, but it's all good and she's being a really good mama they're gonna get some hay tomorrow they have enough just to snack on for the rest of the night but look at her he was super clean when i came out here all dried off and and i actually found where he was born because i saw the afterbirth i mean i missed the birth probably about maybe an hour hour and a half again really want to get that on video with one of these girls but main thing is they're good they're healthy they're moving around and we have them where we need them to be without really any issue. And here's a little story. Yoli there is named after my grandma. Um, she just passed away last, uh, last April. And her birthday, her and my aunt's birthday, because they're twins, was they were born on February 7th. So we we're three days off. We we're three days off from Yoli actually giving birth um, to this little guy right here on my grandma's actual birthday the first one that she was gone and that would have been super cool didn't happen we're just a couple days late but still really cool but that being said 
you know, we give our animals names. Some of uh, some of you guys don't necessarily agree with that, but it's a way for me to be able to keep track a little bit better. It's a way for you guys to kind of tell them apart a little bit more. And on top of it all, I think every animal deserves a name, not just a number. So we got to give um, this little guy here a name. And with everything, what you want to come say hi? You have a name suggestion, huh, baby? You're happy. She's so sweet. So with everything being said about Yoli being named after my grandma and this being the first uh, first, first birthday here without her, um, we're going to name her something a little bit special. See, one of the things that my grandma left me was this necklace here. This is the necklace that she wore every day. Every day that I knew her, she had this on. My entire life, she wore this necklace. And uh, I was lucky enough that she was able to give it to me. So... This little guy here, he's actually number cow number 24 that we have here. We bought 21 of them. Skywalker was 22. Rosemary was 23. He's named 24. So I think we're going to go with Nugget. I think he's going to be named Nugget. Now what's the plans for Nugget? Um, don't know yet. We're going to grow him out to a year old and uh, see what he turns into because of the cows that he's out of Jordan and Yoli very good looking cows he, they, he might become for sale as a breeding bull um, or higher likelihood is that come a year we'll see how he grows out and we'll actually steer him and then he'll be part of our grass-fed beef program and he'll only help grow the herd help expand help do everything that is needed to do around the farm so that's the plan for little nugget there and Yoli has done a fantastic job. Well, Jordan, you went and done it again. You gave us an amazing little calf, born with no problems, and hopefully he grows up to look like you, because you are a great looking little bull. Between two calves that we've had here, they have a combined weight of like 77 pounds, which is <laughs> ridiculous. That's why, again, I love the Longhorn, I love the Longhorn, I love the Longhorn, why? Because it's like one out of every 4,000 that has any kind of issue during birthing. And you know what? They make great mamas. You only took a second to figure it out. You know, a couple hours. And then she got it. And they're great. This is just really super cool. Because now, after almost two years. We've almost been here two years. It's going to be two years in March. That everything that we've worked for. Everything that I've planned for. Everything is, you know, everything's starting to come to fruition. Because... Yoli was one of the first three cows that we ever brought here, or the first three heifers that we ever brought here. And she was just really, really little. And it was in this uh, this little corral system here that, that we got her in, and we kept her in for the first uh, about week so we can train them to electric fence and everything. And me and her, we've actually been through a lot together. She's the one that has taught me probably the most about cows. She's hopped the fence. She's gotten a mile and a half away. I had to walk her back with alfalfa pellets yeah, mile and a half. That was that wasn't a very fun day. She uh, she learned a lesson with that, and she hasn't done it again. She's the one that you know when uh, when we first were training them to the electric fence, and we were walking them out right back there. She was like she was like you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna jump over it. She looked at the the electric net that we had up. I thought you know let's put up the sheep and goat net because it's more of a visual barrier than just a line. She goes no, I'm just gonna jump over it. <sighs> We've been through quite a bit together. We we, we learned how to move the cows together we've learned how to you know manage everything we've learned how to go through winters together and it's pretty cool now that we learned how we have a calf calf here together and you know what really no issues at all look little auntie's gonna go over there and say hi huh ellie some people were telling me hey you know what you shouldn't separate ellie out because when you put her back with the herd there might be a little pecking order thing but when i put uh Yoli in here and I opened up the thing. I was waiting for them to, uh, you know, kind of jostle for a second. But nope, they went over there and looked at each other. And uh, now, what? You okay there? What are you doing? You gonna sneeze? No, you're not. Okay, you're good now. No, they, uh, they got along just perfectly fine. And Yoli here, I know, I know. You're gonna come eat. Let me, uh, let me give you a little scratch, okay? Easy, okay, good girl. Good girl, you're a good girl. That doesn't help. It doesn't hurt either that you are you are my favorite. She's my favorite cow. Just don't tell anybody else. She's like right there too because those two, funny enough, these two are actually the ones that let me pet them the most. And you little monster, what are you doing, huh? You got a new, you got a new playmate? 
Hey, easy. <laughs> Her and Skywalker actually end up playing most of the day when they're not sleeping. It's really pretty funny. They become really, really good friends. She'll actually just go and jump on him. Not like trying to mate wise, but like just go and jump on him trying to get him to play. It's really, really stinking cute. And can't wait for, uh, I gotta catch that on camera. Cause they'll jump on him, Skywalker. Okay, okay, okay. He's like the big older brother. You don't need to, you don't need to bother me right now. She'll go and do it again. And you'll just pester him, pester him, pester him until <laughs> next thing you know, they're chasing each other. And then they'll come together, touch noses and run away. It's, it's really cool. Is that your new friend? Is that your new friend? Look at that. Two and a little over two week difference. And she's like double his size. Huh. Huh, buddy. You're like, I found a comfortable spot. I'm not moving. I'm just gonna lay here. <laughs> You're something else, dude. You getting up? You getting up? What are you gonna go do? You gonna go look for some milk? You need some milk. Isn't that a isn't that a meme? <laughs> look at him. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go. Look at look at here. Look here's the difference. Okay, that's not your mama. Go to the right mama. Okay. She's like, no, no, no. You don't get that. That's a uh, that's reserved for my calf. No, no, no. I hope that doesn't become an issue either. Let's see. Go to your mama. Let's see. Go to your mama. Okay, good, good, good boy. Like, okay, fine. I'll go to my mama. Let him go. Let him go. Okay, there we go. You're figuring it out now, dude. You're figuring it out. He's like, what are you doing, huh? What is all this stuff? I'm brand new to the world. Happy birthday, dude. And that's what we like to see right there, him getting his milk. There we go. They got it all figured out. And with that, spring is like right around the corner. Here's uh, one of our apple trees. You can see the buds are starting to form. Starting to, well, they're starting to break their buds. And uh, I think we might have, there's a chance, we might have only one more day um, this winter below freezing. And then we're on to spring. So early, this time last year, this time last year, we were up to my knees in snow. So hopefully with the drought from this past summer, continuing actually into now, um, maybe we get a little bit of a break, get an early spring, get rocking and rolling, and uh, the growing season, well, we've already seen uh, two calves be born this year, so let's, uh, let's get the growing season completely going. And I think you're the next one up, Missy, you know that? I think you're the next one up, because look at you. You look all kinds of fat. And you're not ready yet, but I think you're the next one up. We should be expecting like eight more babies this year, so our herd's gonna be growing pretty significantly. And uh, to see more babies, to see what these guys turn into, to see when the geese actually ever shut up, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell so you get notified when we put up new videos. Hit the like button, because it really does help with the YouTube algorithm, boost our videos up and more people can see them. And then drop a comment if you like, all right? Till next time, see ya, bye. When I hear that pirate's parrot cussing like a sailor, I can picture Gene Lafitte with a sailboat and horse trailer. From New Orleans to Port Arthur, they drew a line in the sand, and only outlaws could cross it, hauling boat loads of contraband. Saw water cowboys riding seahorses between Texas and Louisiana. Saw water cowboys riding seahorses that skull and bones a strange guffles brain.